A blessed day, viewers and subscribers. Welcome to the boss with another video. Please put a like and leave a comment. More on this one special big up. Big up anybody who will celebrate a birthday today. Today, today, today. Big up on yourself now. Listen to the video. Big up a trailer driver, them from US, Canada, all over. Big up the local people, them. Everybody overseas will follow the movement. See? All right? So, we can move on to what we are talking about now. Guys, Miss everybody in a panic mode. What the yeah over the election, etc. But now people in a double panic mode, guys, cause a news come out yesterday say people who applying for the Canada visa now, you're not guaranteed if you get a ten year multiple entry. So when you hear that, I'm gonna play some video, make some immigration specialists explain it to you better. See? So, for instance, I'm going to break it down too, no? So, for instance, you go there now and you apply for it. Normally, you get up to nine years or maybe, depend on how much your visa, uh, years left on the visa, etc. Now, the immigration officer of the authority depend on your purpose of visiting. So, for instance, you want to visit for a wedding. You want to visit for a funeral. You can't just get a single entry. Normally, one time when you do the application, you guarantee if you get maybe, as I said, depending on the amount of year you left in your passport. You understand? You can get maximum 10. Now, them draw down upon that now. So, for instance, you get one, one entry for go one wedding and them approve it. And it, this not guarantee, so you have to prove. You have to be approved, okay? So, for instance, you go now, you get a one entry if you go on, then get one month in our country or two weeks, etc. You come back, see, if you want to go back to Canada, you have to go apply again for a different visa. Basically, I that them I say. So, boy, I met them people explain about it. Sticky, US are tightening for them border, and now Canada look like them are tightening up for them too. I don't know what caused this. I don't know what cause this, but from Mr. Man Wayne, it come like everybody I get tied up on them border immigration system, everything. Leave it in your comment and tell me what you think about this video. See? So, I can hear from some of the specialists and when you can leave it in the comment, let me know what you take from this. I can drive and listen. Canada updated its rules yesterday, giving officers more power to decide whether you should get a single entry visa or a multiple entry visa. They can also decide how long that multi-entry visa will last. Before, it was automatically multi-entry and lasted for up to 10 years or based when your passport expired. So you had more freedom to travel to Canada during that validity period. But now that's over. So if you're applying for a visitor visa, you have to make your case as to why the officer should grant you a multi-entry visa. Otherwise, you may have to submit a new application each time you want to visit, which is a huge pain. Important changes to a visitor visa processing for all those who are planning to invite their loved ones to Canada or those who are applying for a visitor visa to Canada. So the 10 year multiple entry visa is no longer a default visa that you might expect to receive. Now the officers are uh, going to exercise their discretion to issue the visa that is most befitting the applicant situation. For example, if you're a student uh, who's uh, inviting their parents to your convocation, your parents might expect to receive a one-time, one-entry visa. And yet, if you are, let's say, a worker who is inviting their spouse to visit them, um, let's say, with the children, they might expect a longer duration visa. Is this necessarily bad news? Not really. Oh, I understand, guys. Uh, with the Canadian visa, it's not like the US. We can't talk of experience. You can go online and apply for your visa. All right? So you can go up online, use a laptop, apply for it. You just want these documents, so I go no information, so I don't have to run go pay how much, much money I travel here, gents. All right? I'm going to continue to drive and listen to that one. I applied for my Canadian visitor's visa and was approved in less than a month without the use of an agency. Let me show you how. First things first, you'll head on over to this website, which will be shown on my screen. 
There you will be asked a series of questions. Please note that some of these questions will lead to other questions based on your responses. Answer these questions carefully with uttermost honesty. After answering these questions, you will be asked to upload some documents. Here is a list of all the documents you will need to upload. Colored copy of your passport, colored copy of any previous visas, your bank statement or your three most current pay slips. Invitation letter, if someone in Canada will be accommodating you, please note that you don't need to have someone in Canada in order to apply for a Canadian visa. Copy of Canadian passport or permanent resident card from the person who is inviting you to Canada. Letter from the JP if you are self-employed. A status letter if you are in school. Marriage certificate if you are married. Birth certificate of all your children who are under the age of 18 years. Some optional documents to support your case are your land title, car title, and insurance certificate. After submitting these documents, you will be asked to pay a total of 185 Canadian dollars. This amount includes the visa fees and also the biometrics fees. After you have made your payment, you'll just wait on an update from the visa office. Now check your email regularly because they will be contacting you via your email. The first update you will receive they will ask for your biometrics, which is basically your fingerprints and a photo. Now, there are two visa application centers in Jamaica. One is located in Montego Bay and the other one is located in Kingston. After you have submitted your biometrics, all you have to do is sit and wait and let the visa office make their decision. Note briefly, they don't require you to sit and interview and they will only collect your passport if you have been approved. All the best and drop your questions down below. I will try my best to answer them in a video. All right, so at least when I get that, I want to understand the whole thing. All right, so we're there to spread awareness and share update and things. So I, I want a, a person can, you know, if they're interested. But what I like with this now, let me give me two cents on this now about the whole officer can decide how much time for you. All right. This is a, is, it, it, it's a little risky in a sense for Canada because persons who, for instance, somebody can say they get an invitation for going to a wedding. When that person was a one entry and get for go Canada, he knows he might apply back again if he want to go back in a country. He might go just 10 times out of 10, he might say, all right then, I want, we just want one entry, because most, most Jamaicans just want one entry in the US or Canada, to be honest. Not everyone. So comment if you don't agree with me. The processor, it can be very tricky, because no person can say, all right, I get the one chance, I'm gone. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, and the person who want to come back can just come back. And who to tell me, but when you go and come back now, your chances are you might get one more years because the man say, all right, then you're not run off. Or maybe then just look upon it standard and say, eh, I just that you go for something. So more money for them, for a person who's interested to travel, but persons who approve, yeah, people just need one chance. If you don't agree with me, comment below if I talk foolishness, only just say, all right, mix up, boss, I say, go. all right, let me know below. Anyway, more and share. This, because you know, I'm not going in a short video when I come on for your vlog. See, we have a very interesting topic last night, and I'm going to share a piece of it with you. I'm asking a question again. Asylum seekers, let me know if Jamaica qualify for asylum seekers in the US. Comment and let me know. Because we have this discussion last night, and a lot of people have different, different theory. Even though Google and the internet is there, when you can put it below and let me know what you say. Because I know I want to work together. But I am going to hear two callers and I'm going to take on a, um, put on the pieces together and let me know if they correct with what they say or not. Because they say there is ways and means uh, how to go about it. So, we're there to learn. So, I can continue to listen what them call your officer about that topic. Company I make people where... Yeah, you hear me, you hear me, man. Not, they, they, same thing, they say the same thing as that. They, they, they just not gonna prove because Jamaica don't have them kind of thing. Jamaica can get visa every, every minute to come America back and forth. No, my friend, when I talk to her, he say yes. He, he might go through and process. He said that take about five to six years. What's that? Forget yeah. asylum. I might go through and process. He said get, and he get one, he said get one. Jamaica? 
No, he's in New York. Wait, is a Jamaican? Yeah, man, he used to run taxi on him. He take his boss money. And he not give boss money for one month and he can't go give him and use the money to go for him. So he come to the border? Yeah. It's just, it's just not about approving, man. They're not deported, man. <laughs> Stop it. You're free, you're free, you're free to apply for it, you know. Any country free to apply for it, but it's only country, certain country qualified for it. So if you, if you don't into those countries, you can't apply. But it's just not going to approve you. You have to go to a judge in a, in a court, you know. Yeah, me know that. Alright. So it's just not going to approve you. So you're saying you have nobody where the fan Jamaica can get approved, you sure? No, Jamaica can't get approved for that. You can't apply. When you go in front of the judge, you can't believe, Solans. No, but man. What are you going to tell the judge? What are you going to tell the judge? Yeah. Wait, what's your case? Well, then suppose somebody, I'm going to use the word fish. Suppose somebody are fish and then say they're fear for their life. No, no, no. Yeah. Fear for your life. You have to prove it. Fear for your life or what? Oh, I'm going to prove it and he can't come back in our country. That's what I'm saying. They're not going to prove it. You have to prove your case. When but then, no, it's a Jamaica. Oh, but brother, remember, Jamaica is homophobic, so they're going to believe. Come on. No, no, no. That can't qualify you, no. So he says, I lose in battle then. Of course, you can apply, but you're not going to get me. They, they must deny you, and if they deny you, they deport you right away. <laughs> right, it. So guys, you know, you're from the man there, so not, not good, so. But anyway, I'm going to listen to the next call here, guys. I'm going to thumbs up the video and share it. I'm going to put my number on it. If you have a story and have an opinion on it, we can talk about it. We are here to learn from each other, not to try bash each other. All right, so I'm going to move on to the next caller. Caller, let me hear what you say. Oh, I'm going to send me something. Hey, what's going on, Tommy? Damien. Ready? Okay. I do have a family member who came into the state as a teenager, and mm. he's real gay. He applied for asylum many years after. He got into some trouble right before his asylum got approved, and they deported him to Jamaica. When they deported him to Jamaica, they searched through, and I guess something comes up, I don't know, and they found out that he had applied for asylum because he's gay and his life is in danger in Jamaica. What they did was they reached out to him by mail because they have an address on file that they... Um, put when they're putting this deportation package together they call, contact him with a package mm -hmm. and tell him that he has to come back to the u.s embassy to pick up something to come back into the states mm -hmm. when he went and gave him some paperwork in a package and use it to come back into the states and when he come back then give him like green card i think like a month afterwards and then give him a full benefit package meaning food stamp and rent they tell him that he cannot go back to jamaica at least until seven year pass after the seven year him start to go back and he said jamaica is really nice right now and he hang out with him fish friend them and he make it a thing now where all the time in travel and visit them and he come back and now in travel other countries like canada and um other place, I don't really remember, but we know him travel a lot, and he's happy. He said he spent one year at Jamaica because he haven't been there for many years. Because, like I said, left with him a teenager around 15, 16. Are we saying, saying doing it? Hang out with him, hang out with him, friend them. Yes, my fish friend down there because remember, see the internet big now. You understand, they have them community down there, hang out with them. But in said, when him they get deported, him that's a hide. You understand? And him see boy and the gully and him hang out with them and him say, Hungry nearly kill him. Kill him. Him say, Jamaica, add it, add it, add it, add it, add Like, the worst, the worst experience I've ever experienced. I mean, somewhere where we lived before. You understand? So basically, you can use the fish, the fish talk and get you. Yes, it's getting very, it very it had, it had very in, So then test. Because one of my brethren saying did I tell him about that, but you don't know if they might go, make, they might go test him with one man or something. So you know what? I, I don't know, but he's very, very gay. He live by himself, he man come over, he do all sorts of stuff, he have party, he have a fish friend him over here too, he have them cold with him park and all of them crack there, and very popular. 
lots of people know him and all of that stuff. And he's real gay, and they really deported him and then get realized it, then probably do it, you know, illegally or something. I don't know what the word is that they use, but then get the final say, you know, in the supposed to dung that if him apply for asylum because he's gay, life in danger. Mm -hmm. You understand? So then send back for him, then make him pick up the package at the embassy, then come up a month after them give the green card and the full benefit. Him so more access yes, something then. Okay. If I this uh this a president I will go in a power, you feel that will I reach him? I do not know. This president is very different. He's very conservative, and uh, I'm not so lenient to the asylum border because remember, say so in his term, two thousand sixteen to twenty um, twenty twenty, him closed the border. Mm. A certain amount of people come through, and when a certain amount of people come through, it close the border because America have a system where you can ask for um, asylum, but you have to go through the port of entry to get that asylum. The port of entry is where the Mexico border is, or the other end is where the Texas border is. You understand? I think mm -hmm. there's two of them. So you have to go through that border in order to get the um, asylum that you want. You do have a few people that come over and visiting visa later on and change their minds. They might apply for the um, the asylum and then go about it and ask. You do have regular people who just like apply for it regardless. Lots of people get straight them ask for asylum and a lot of them get it from Jamaica. I have few family members that do um, apply for it and got it. So yeah, it is a thing. But so you have to so it's applied to Jamaica back. then? Basically, it's applied to Jamaica then? Basically. Yes, but okay. you have to prove, you have to have concrete evidence to prove to your Oh, American so that's why Lance says you have to prove it to your judge? Yes. Oh, yes, you have to so I'm judge, go tell the judge, say, hey, you know, say me a fish and get you, and I say go. No, they have to prove. Right, and then. Them have ways where them find out them stuff, <laughs> them legit or not. You understand? I don't know. Oh, God, imagine one straight man I go tell you just say, in lean. They're not stupid. They're not stupid. They're not stupid. They're not stupid. And it's not that easy. I mean, I tell you, say, my family is real, real gay. Mm -hmm. he walk it, he talk it, he look it, he dress it, he in, 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 in company. Yeah. You know, everything is that. That's just this world. This, this, this well, I hope you man them a listen when I'm straight. I make sure so they don't get their game right. Uh, if, right. They, if they don't go tell the judge that pan they sell it, and it's all the pan they file on. Yes, it, it, follow, it follow them. So if you get your name, so if you get your person name and Google it, it's supposed to come up. <laughs> Probably, but I don't know. I don't know that far. But I do know people in my family who have got it, straight people who have got it, and I do know um, lean people who have got it. Not right it, Princess Rosal said, I know straight men and women who had to play the part and come with pictures. Do you hear Jesus, I'm God. No, you do, have, you do have people where, you know, some of, some of them come from visa and they do have, run away from stuff because you have enough girls down the woman. One beat and kill, and them run when them come over here. Then they get, but them under severe um scare for them life because mm. man are threatening to kill them. And if them have all of them evidence, then they can also you know share it with them and show. But like to say, your evidence have to be concrete. It can't be no fucker because this is the United States government. They don't play around. They could take five people off them couch and pay them money until they go investigate that, and them have to come back. You understand? Mm -hmm. They play. So you have to. Be prepared to share concrete evidence, cause if you not share that, my youth, them are putting your Why? Your my ass. friend put up a comment, Jennifer. Things people do to stay in the United States, I would never. Eh? Boy, oh boy. Yeah, but you have some people that not even use the gay. Some people just, you know, ask for asylum. Well, uh, and somebody like took in something in our chat. Did you guys hear in New York City stopping all the food money? Who said that, boss? Look, nothing got solved. No, talking about google like tommy and tell me they have some migrant that come here from what happened is um which part they come from the sorry a trip out a while ago where they come from then you have asylum seeker that come across the border and the state when in texas is a no is a is a no zone so if you come through that port of entry at texas for asylum 
them are going to probably let you through, but they're not going to keep you. So what them do know, them put you on force. And Senegal, New York. York. And Senegal, and Democratic Senegal, City. Senegal, right. Senegal, a state will cater to migrants. Oh. So, them bus a holy party man send them to New York City. And when them send them to New York City, you know, um, you find out say, the mayor over there now. Um, I try to help them out. And he not like it, but he might try. You know what I say? So he have a pilot program with my road. We might give them like, I think, $900, close to $1,000 a month for a family. A family. You understand? Mm -hmm. Which is probably woman and children or woman, man and children. A family. Them give them that to spend. You understand? It creates some problem because Yankee do not like when you come for the benefits. Like, don't come for my benefits. <laughs> yeah. If you come for my benefits, they got to be problem. So, them complain, 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 complain. In final world, but just, you know, sitting something for like talk, make it look legal and all of that stuff to mm -hmm. a point where right about now, him said the pilot end and him now, you know, renew it. He may just leave it alone because. So then go cook then. Huh? Then go cook. Yes. So what am I got? So what am I gonna get food and something now? I don't know. In addition to that, me here says that bus back. Some of them are send them go a different place. So I have no idea what's gonna happen. But Texas said they don't want them there. But, all right. Fun and joke aside. All right. Me live yeah. a Jamaica. Me go talk as a Jamaican now. See. Good. Just imagine. You see people from Haiti, Mexico, and all over start flood the country. Eh, and and just start uh, cheat them like how you said the mayor did that cheat them. And you know Jamaican have, have people out here suffer. Where do you think Jamaican would have started? Eh? No, I'll probably say the same thing though. <laughs> exactly. So six or one half dozen other. You get what yeah, I mean? Yeah. yeah look, I mean, I feel bad for it, but I, I mean, like. Are the truth? It's hard. It's it, tough. It's hard, yeah. Damn. It's hard, it's tough. And it's hard to see one time, you know, the, the, the landlord they crash the economy over here. The landlord crash the economy because them get realized in the regulation of their planet and if the regulation of their planet... Somebody tell me, sir, you say if you have a house with a spare room, you did have to put up them, Acho, in a New York? Boy, I mean, you live in New York, you know, about... No, I saw one lady tell me today, she said, um, when I tell them, say if you have a house and you have a spare room, you have to put them up. Because they go up on the file and know how much people live in your yard and them something that know if you have a spare room. I don't know if that's true. Somebody well, put it in a chat. Them kind of do census over here, you know. Census are something where them go to the door and check for how much people live in your house. You understand? So, them know what a clock strike. So if Somebody said, yes, 5,600 for a family of four monthly. A foolish is that somebody are right. That's impossible. You mad? I yeah. heard it's like 18 something. Yeah, or well, you get 5,600. It cannot be that. You see a $900. Yeah. Basically... It basically give them that because you know them you can't get food stuff to get diapers so them give them cash so you can buy you know stuff like that diapers and wipe you know for the for the little ones them and like if them want sweat or something like that you know it's cool mm. you understand and then put them in a like luxury hotel like hotel we like now nah, make no money the government just say you know what me go pay the mortgage for that hotel yeah to oh. run a program with it you understand? Mm -hmm. So I will if I no, I will if I burden that and stress still I know. Yeah, they just put the migrant them in there. So I will if I burden and stress that brother. You know, I live good and the government are funded. You know, I, it, it, it's nice, you know, for them, but for the regular New Yorkers where they can buy the deal in the city. Exactly. It's it unfair. And egg and gas and the car, they will be hard because when you make a certain amount, you're not qualified for food stamp. You know yep. what I'm saying? Yeah. And you're not qualified for certain resources. So if all your money is eaten up in rent and, and utilities, you have no extra income and you can't apply for food stamp because you're not qualified. And you see like the migrant, they will come and they might eat up all your resources. Hell yeah, you're going to be mad. Hell yeah, my kid need milk too. My kid need eggs too. Eggs has gone up because there's no regulation on, on, on groceries. There's no regulation on, on rent. So you find out that the landlord just take advantage and say like, yo, the government don't put no regulation and say we can't raise rent. Well, they're going to raise rent to like twice the amount of me and ask and make a money. So that also, you know, create problem. And then the gas people, them know them say like, well, water one, 
you know, they go see if they can make up money to me, I go raise up gas because there's no regulation in it that to stop them and says, do not raise your rent, you know, do not raise prices, you know, they take advantage. So when gas goes wow. up, when grocery goes up, everything goes up, the economy goes up, it's hard. Okay. <laughs> so people is. are looking on it one way and all upon the, the effects it up on people where um people are citizens and them stuff they basically then we're living at the state yeah where, yeah they might yeah. eat up them resources and they don't like it and okay. i really don't blame them you know it's it's hard and it's sad but it is the truth they might eat it up you know what i'm saying and they can't buy milk for their kids either and when you look you see them have milk and they might get all this money and your 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 your, your, your taxes raised on you too it's like if you were to pay like ten percent for your paycheck, your paycheck probably goes up to now fifteen percent. What? Wow. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. So it becomes hard. So they mumble and they grumble and they complain and they put pressure upon the man and tell him to for resign and all of that stuff because they feel like, you know, they might make them hungry. Mm -mm. And I give with them stuff. That's just what it is. But yeah, hope that works. All right, <laughs> bye. All right, Tommy, thank you, darling. All right. Yeah. Uh wow. Nice dialogue. I'm gonna see this. Yeah. All right, guys. So that or that. And I'm glad you can take a take from it. And let me know who I talk. The man saying not possible. The lady explain her situation. And let me know below. As I said, me know below. I'm going to big up everybody. Um, This week wow, was a very challenging week. We got through one little storm in Jamaica. Uh, most of you guys in the US. And uh, I get the result when I did one. But you know, life goes on. Everything is life. The worst thing can happen to me is somebody where we love pass away. And from that now, you live and you learn and you move on. So, when you stay strong and focused, I'm gone.